the best thing they've ever said is, I want to write a book now. When I draw Billy, they're like, wow, you're so good. You you draw like the real thing. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it was probably a complaint to his mother saying, Mum, but he's not 10 years old. He's an he's an old man. I was going into the hall and there were some preps milling around and one of them said to me, oh, are you the author? And I said, yes, I am. And this little boy turned to me and he said, I think you look like a vampire. And the other kids sort of were nodding like, yeah, possibly. I often say to the kids, so, you know, what would have been worse than if I tried and it didn't work out? And obviously the answer is not trying at all, except this little girl put up her hand and she said, your house burning down, which was fair enough. And I, so I drew for them and I can't draw. And a little five-year-old girl down the front said, oh, look, she's giving it her best shot. So I, I was patronised by a prep and it was beautiful. Oh my God, you're my favourite author. Um, oh, after J.K. Rowling and Dave Bookie and Penny and uh, Roald Dahl, and they just kept saying more and more names until the bell went. One young man, one boy, asked whether um, I would marry his mum. And I was single at the time, so I did say maybe. <laughs> but uh, but uh, unfortunately, it didn't. I shouldn't say unfortunately, I've got a girlfriend that I'm very much in love with. Uh, fortunately, it didn't turn out. This primary school, instead of giving me like a cup or a pen, they gave me a towel with their school logo on it. And I was speaking to like grade ones and this grade one said, and when you come back, you can wear the towel and nothing else. One of my favorite things is like after about like a 45 minutes of talking to them and telling them about myself and what I do, I always like it when there's a kid who asks the question, so who are you? Oh, wow. Are you Tim Harris? And I said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Kids have said lots of great things to me, but this one little kid came out to me once and he really eyed me off, looked me up and down and just said, um, you look taller in your photo. I, f I heard this little girl sort of come right up behind me and breathily in my ear said, you're a good drawer. <laughs> I have. I have a bit in my talk when I, when I say like, oh, I really wanted to be like an actor, but you know, I wasn't that good at acting and I wasn't good looking enough for Hollywood and blah, blah, blah. And a kid came up to me and was like, oh, I'm sorry you didn't get to be an actor. You're not that ugly. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, hands down, the best thing that a kid has ever said to me was, how did you do that? Because it sparks brilliant conversation in art and, and how to approach art. And if my art can inspire a child to want to do that, then I think that's great.